Uh, g'day folks, Pat Curley from LearnCigarBoxGuitar.com uh, In response to a question that I often get, which is, what's the difference between a three-string guitar and a four-string guitar? Yeah. Now, it comes down to your tuning and the function of that extra note. So, just to save me swapping guitars all over the place, right? We'll talk about the tuning here. Now, on a three-string three -string guitar, I'm going to have this type of tuning, G, D, G. On a four-string guitar, it's the same, but I've got an extra one, G, D, G, B. Now, that's not written in stone. You don't have to tune them like that. But you often do, and, and that's, that's why I've used these as an example. But the important thing is that with a four string, you have that extra harmonic richness that that extra string gives you. Let's look at that tuning again. G, D, G, so those two notes are the same. So there's not a lot of harmonic richness in just playing the same note an octave apart. It's just one note. Um, the five note, that's the fifth note in the scale, G, A, B, C, D, has a very similar function to that first note harmonically in that it gives gives the listener the, the idea of the chord or the key. So a bass player, for example, would go one, bump, 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 bump. Yeah, went on down to Georgia, right? Um, now the third note in the scale, which is what we've got when we on a four string when we add that fourth note, one, five, one, three, adds a, more of a color to the chord, doesn't it? it? Makes it a major chord in this case. So that's a minor chord. That's a major chord. On a three string, that's a bit trickier to do because those two notes are the same. So you want to go and add, try and get three notes in there. It's not always possible. You can do it for the open G but on other types of chords, it's much more difficult. Yeah? I'll just demonstrate that quickly without getting too much into the theory. Right? So a C chord on a three string looks like that. There's other ways to play a C chord, but generally that's the way you do it, right? So that's, and in C, that's the fifth note, the third note, and the fifth note in the scale. That's, that's okay, it's acceptable. You're singing along and you can hear the change from the G. much of a change yeah? but if you add that C note there now it's got that color right it's got that that's obviously a C chord so listen to the difference now between the G and the C you've changed to a new chord and it's much more obvious to the ear because you've got that full C chord now and a D chord on a three string usually looks like that. That's just the one and the five again, but the other way around. So the, the five, the one and the five. So there's no third note there. It's impossible to tell whether you're playing a major or a minor chord. Usually in those three string, in those three chord folk tunes, it's a major chord. So it's not a big deal, right? I'm not saying you can't do it, but I'm just talking about the differences, okay? Um, but listen to the difference in color again. Don't need that. Color between that and the full major chord with the major third in it. There's the minor chord. Yeah? So that's the difference between having three and four strings is that extra color that you get in your harmony, right? If I were to play that minor chord there, it sounds weird, just the A and the F together, without the D to reference those two things. They're a minor third apart, just to be weird, right? Um, I could play those three chords with that note on top and have an F chord. So, oops, that's not right, that's better. There, it's a bit tricky. Right, so there's an F chord. So is it an F or a D minor or what is it? If if I have enough notes to 
play, then it's unambiguous what chord I'm playing. It's a little bit trickier to finger those chords, so if you're prepared to put in the effort to go there, uh, and you want to strum along the John Denver chords, songs, Neil Young songs, etc., then this is your best bet. You can play slide on one of these, of course you can. It's a little bit more tricky though. If you're playing blues slide, right? The, the thing in the blues, the big deal about the blues, one of them, harmonically at least, is the relationship between the minor third and the major third. So if you've already got that minor third, on, major third on top, sometimes you don't want to hear it. Well, that was bad, but if I didn't have that string there, that would sound like... Yeah, that was great. So, right, so that, minor, that major third on the top there has to be muted when you're playing a four string a lot if you want to play blues. And that's a tricky right hand technique to learn. So if you don't want to be bothered with that and you just want to play blues, then get a three string, right? Um, also, the action on a, on a fretted guitar tends to be lower so that you can play it fretted. And that makes it a lot easier to play slide too. You're not bouncing around on frets all the time. But you can do it. Yeah? It's just a bit tricky. It takes a bit more time to learn it. So I'll grab the three string fretless. And so while you're not going to be playing so many chords on this, um, you, it's a riffing machine, right? still play plenty of blues on it um, and you're not worried so much about the harmony the textured harmony in the chords you're more concerned about the riffs and you can do that on a three string guitar you just need a uh, pretty good right hand technique and, um, and the slide stuff's not that hard at all it's pretty simple with a with a three string fretless so for me it comes down to what you want to play if you want to play chords get a four string if you want to play bluesy slide stuff, get a three string. Feel free to disagree, but there you go, that's what I reckon. Cheers.